Hi, this is lesson number 11 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about blur tool, sharpen tool and uh, one of the filter we will use that is surface blur filter. We are not going to learn in depth this time filters, but since it is related to the blur, we can use, I can show you some of the effect from that filter to our image. Here in my screen, I have opened three images, the girl image and the back. We have here a building scene. The third image here we have and the scene behind is blurred. So let's start with this image. If I will zoom, you can see clearly the freckles on the skin on the face and there is a, some skin texture. That is really fine if you are going to see the image on the desktop or for web presentation. But if you will print in a bigger scale, these things will appear clearly so we can fix that. Another thing about blur tool and sharpen tool, these tools are with the low intensity and they might not give you the quick result on the high resolution image. This image is really big. If I will show you the size, right click image size. It is 4000 and height is also accordingly. So I'm going to scale down this image. Let's say 700, 6, 7 time I will reduce and then click OK. 100%. The first thing we are going to smooth the skin. Here is my layer palette and in our toolbox here we have blur tool. I will select the blur tool. Brush is really soft. Here we have strength. I will leave it as it is 100 and make sure that sample all layers is checked. So we are not going to disturb the original copy of this image. We will just keep that things in the new layer. If I will create new layer, since sample all layer is checked, so the changes we will make will be on the new layer and it will not affect our original image. So we are in the new layer, blur tool is selected and I can just click and drag, but make sure that you are not going close to the eyes or any sharp area around the nose by pressing left and right square bracket next to the letter P, you can increase and reduce the brush size. Blur tool will not affect the image brightness or darkness. It will just make it smooth the skin. Maybe in this area here also we can somehow that is okay. If I will switch off this layer, you can see the changes before and now. But still you can see on the skin, we have still light spot because of the freckles. It is very easy to fix with the surface blur under filters. So this layer is selected. I will go to the filter menu and here we have blur. At the bottom here we have surface filter. If I will click on this filter, the skin turned to really smooth. And if I will switch off the preview before and now but you need to be careful because once it will make more smooth you might lose some of the detail in the image let's say here we have sharp edge around the nose before and now it's get blurred i'm not going to increase this amount previously i have given and i think it is suitable for this image then click ok now in this area we need to get the sharpness so we are in the same layer We'll go simply to the eraser tool, select the eraser tool, opacity just reduce. In my case, it is 15 and that is fine. I can reduce the brush size and this side also here around the face outside areas a little bit blurred. So we can just erase and now you can see the result. The skin is really smooth. And if I will switch off this layer before and now here you can see there is a some light passing once we apply this filter we lost a little bit detail here we can erase this also eraser tool is selected so somehow this is fine now we are going to use another tool that is sharpen tool 
sharpen tool is of course it's uh, clear with the name it will sharp the area but once you will click on sharpen tool here we have some option strength sample all layers here we have protect detail if you are going to apply sharpen in some of the area in your image you can create new layer it's good idea to keep it on new layer so this layer i'm going to use make sure sample all layer is checked and protect detail is also checked if this is unchecked the area you are going to make it sharp if it is having light pixels that will give you unexpected result if i will uncheck this and let's say in this area just click and drag you can see some weird result on the eyebrows so here it is important to check this strength you can increase if you want in my case it is 39 and that is fine for this image i am going to sharpen this area reduce the brush size eyeball around the eyelashes maybe eyebrows also look at this this is checked now and photoshop cares the light area maybe the lips now if i will switch off this layer you will see before and now maybe some of the area here we can so this is how we can use blur and sharpen tool of course that is not only the way to fix the skin tone there is many other way and more than that you can do but since that tool is there you can also use for quick fix let's go to another image here in this image the close detail is really sharp but if you will see the background it's really blurred this type of effect it can be done by a camera when you will take the picture the camera lens is having aperture behind and if it's open more the light will pass more and the things near the camera lens will be really sharp and crispy and the far will be blurred this type of effect easily we can achieve by using blur so here i have another image in this image you can see at the back we have uh, buildings so we are going to blur only the background but not the front things in the image so let's select the blur tool we can create new layer sample all layer is checked and if i will click on drag you can see the buildings getting blurred but the problem is when we will get close to the girl the blur will affect this area also so how to avoid this area we need to make selection for this particular image i can use quick selection and uh, it will work fine for this i will click on background make sure that add to selection is checked and click and drag simply so the almost our required area is selected some here we need to select this way click and drag but you can see some part of the buildings also we have in the selection and once we will apply blur this area will remain sharp so we need to subtract from selection click on subtract from selection and simply click and drag over the area you want to subtract all right that is fine on this point our selection is around the girl and if i will go to the blur layer and apply the blur it will affect the girl so we need to inverse this selection control z undo meaning to say we need to make it opposite so the selected area will be the building will go to the select and simply click on inverse now outside area is selected and if i will use the blur tool now this area it is protected this way we can all right but here we have hand railing that is close to the girl and maybe this is a sitting place or whatever we don't need to blur that but behind that we have car in the parking this area must be blurred because that is far so we can reduce the brush size 
by pressing square bracket next to the letter P and simply I will blur the curve. All right, that is fine. Now click on select and deselect or you can press control D. The things we have close to the lens in the image are sharp and crispy and the background is blurred. And all the effect is in the new layer since we check sample all layer. So if I will switch off this, you can see before and now. You can use similar image for practice. Also blur tool you can use on the face to make it smooth the skin use sharpen tool in some area the way we did here that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you